Okay, so in the last video, we learned how to make a horizontal line across our screen like this. Regardless of how big our terminal screen is, it will calculate that. How are we doing this? We're using the printf, and then printf, and then we can give it this percent and um, a number in S. It will give us that number of spaces, and then we're using TR. We're piping that into TR to replace those spaces uh, with a particular character. Um, and after doing that, TR is a great, great program for uh, replacing individual characters. Uh, and I love it. I use it a lot. Uh, but there is a problem here. If we try to do this and we try to use a special character such as, uh, in this case, we're going to use Unicode. Unicode will give us um, some special characters such as here we have a dark block. If I try to do that, it doesn't work. If I try to do um, a skull and crossbones, it doesn't work. TR doesn't seem to like those Unicode characters. Now there might be a way I should look through its manual, it might be a way, but then I just, without having to look anything up, I decide I'm going to try using said. So I'm going to use said to replace uh, our characters. So what we're saying here, again, is we're going to print F. Basically we're printing the num a number of spaces. T puts giving us the number of characters across the screen, the number of columns. Uh, and then we're replacing all those spaces with a skull and crossbone. And now we have skull and crossbones across the screen. Uh, again, we can do something like our dark block here. Uh, we can also do um, a light block. So it's, you know, I, I guess one, <laughs> one's a denser block. I guess light and dark depends on your background, huh? Uh, we can do a, uh, you know, checkered block like this. Uh, and we can also do this isn't an underscore character, but it's a low block character. I don't know necessarily what you call it. It's, it's different than doing an underscore like that. You can see it's, it's thicker. Um, but just wanted to do a video on that because I thought of that after I did the last video using TR um, because we're going to get into using some uh, emojis and stuff and actually creating functions in the future videos for this. So again, this is a short video just to follow up to the last video, uh, showing that you can use instead of TR, SED, which both are great applications. SED is more commonly found. They're both commonly found on systems, but SED is, um, is even more commonly found. You're, it's, you're rare you're going to find a Linux or any type of Unix or Unix-like system such as Linux that doesn't already have SED involved, uh, in, installed. It's already built into BusyBox, although TR might be as well. Anyway, we're going to get into this a little bit more in our next video where we're going to actually write a script using these uh, functions that we're creating. So I do thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. And hope to see you in the next video.